So I think what you're hearing is our DNA, which is that we're all rock musicians. I mean, you know, it's very difficult to play instrumental music and not either and, and either not fall into like super jazz bow category or shredding instrumental rock. I'm not a great fan of either of those, although they have their place. You know, I feel like we're in the middle. We're a rock fusion band. And the reason why we're certainly not making a concerted effort to be more accessible. Uh, God knows if we were doing that, we wouldn't be playing any of this music. But to the extent that rock music is more accessible to the typical listener than some hardcore jazz or even like, you know, advanced jazz fusion wankery, uh, then yeah, sure. Because that's what we listen to. You know, I mean, yeah, we listen to Zappa and we listen to, you know, uh, uh, Schofield and jazz greats and all that. We've all listened to that stuff. But, you know, we're into Zeppelin and Queen and Pink Floyd and classic rock stuff in addition to all the other things that we're into. And straight up metal. I, for Certainly for me and Marco, a little bit more than Guthrie, to be honest. I think it just comes out because that's what we listen to. I always feel like you are what you listen to. And you're going to end up writing like that and you're going to end up playing like that. I think what we're doing is relying on the specific kind of energy that we have between the three musicians that's the unifying factor so the the material can be as weird and disparate and eccentric as it likes and hopefully when we all play this stuff it will sound like those three people it was one of those things when Guthrie and I first got together and Marco Guthrie and Marco and I first got together we all realized that you know this band was going to be really loud <laughs> and you know not that we don't play it dynamically but I mean like the 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 genesis the the Bedrock of this is a rock foundation. It's not a jazz foundation. And to the, whenever we do jazz sounding stuff, it's always got the, the patina of rock draped over it. Future of the Aristocrats. Um, well, since Guthrie, actually, yeah, he did, he did mention actually that, and I agree, Brian. Well, since he manages also us and he's very talented in doing so, he has a ten-year plan. <laughs> That's right. He kind of does. He really plans ahead. It's kind of um, really cool to see that you know, like how he comes up, like, well, early 2014, we're gonna go there and this and this. And I was like, wait a minute, it's just you know, it's just January 2013. Guthrie kind of you know makes definitely plans, you know, and I well, I do have plans too, but I do live in the moment. I like to use the moment and make it the most beautiful I can. 